We have been looking at the sharp calculators or pocket computers that I have before, the 1403 and the 1500. And today we're going to look at the Texas Instrument alternative from the same era, that is the mid-1980s, the 74, TI-74. This is the successor to this Texas Instrument CC40. It shares the CPU architecture with it, but it's a more compact and cost-reduced device. It's built out of very sturdy plastic and uh, this unit is made in September 1991 so I believe it's a, it's a fairly late one. Price wise, uh, if adjusted for inflation, it costs half compared to the Sharp unit. And it sort of shows, it's a simpler construction but it's a sturdy one. It has a data port comparable with the hex bus and um, it has just two extra lines for six volts. It also has a um, memory card slot where you can plug in, as in this case, a ROM or a RAM expansion. The basic on this is supposedly the same as you have in the CC40 and uh, the keyboard is okay. Here I've entered the uh, Noel Retro Labs benchmarking program, as you can see on the insert. And we're going to run it. I've run it on the other ones before. This is the S version, and it doesn't have the same silk screen on the keyboard, but all the functions are here. They're just black instead. You don't see it, but you use the function key and you have them all. So let's run this uh, basic benchmark and see how it performs. The keyboard on these are quite nice to type on. They don't respond very well if you type fast on them, but then again, it's not a typewriter type of machine. It's an advanced calculator, I'd say. And performance-wise, when we compare this one to the, to the Sharp, we see it's almost twice as fast. It completes the task in 131 seconds. So it's a, it's a nice performance upgrade compared to the Sharp units. What next? Well, I think it's time to bring out the old screwdriver and take a look inside um, how it's built up, how it's constructed. It's very easy to open it up and the plastic is not brittle in any way. So it's, um, it feels like it's a serviceable unit if there should be any problems with it. Just slightly bend a bit on the sides and it snaps open. Inside we find the um, Apart from a lot of discrete components, of course, uh, nothing is surface mounted. So I think it's, uh, if it would have had any issues, it would have been possible to change the caps or whatever. The CPU is made in 1985 and the MFG date on the other components is 1991. So it lines up with construction date or build date of September 1991 for the entire unit. We have a RAM and a ROM and the CPU and a bunch of discrete components. There is a secondary PCB under the first one and it has the driver chip for the, for the dot mat matrix LCD. Here I took some close-ups just in case but I didn't need them afterwards. There is no signs of wear and tear on the caps or anything, so it's, um, it's a healthy unit. Let's just snap it up again. And it runs out of normal batteries as well. So I think it's a, it's a small, fun unit that should be still usable today as an everyday calculator or an on-the-go programmable unit. Uh, the one I have has a small program card. I believe it's an insurance calculator. It's in German. I don't know much about it, but I know that these are were used for, for that kind of applications back in the days. So thanks for watching. 